Guys, if you're probably wondering how much the Nairobi Expressway is going to cost Kenya to build, the answer is zero. Simply put, nothing. for free well I give you an exclusive look into the construction process of the Nairobi Expressway Mombasa Road show you how the road is actually being built and I have some insights from the Ministry of Tourism the Ministry of Devolution and the Ministry of Transport on how this project is going to work Initially the project was to take three years, but uh, we have told the contractor we want Kenyans to start using this route because Kenyans take more than two hours from the Jomo Kenyatta airport all the way to, to the city and they have committed they will complete this project by December this year. They will do some testing for two months and so we anticipate that by February 2022 this project will be open for uh, private uh, private. Uh, vehicles to use it to go to the city within a period of just 20 minutes. Well, for a road that is going to cost in excess of 600 billion US dollars, how comes it's being built for free? You see, um, for a private investor to put 600 million dollars, they have done their homework. They must have done their homework. And I can tell you when they are doing the feasibility study, they did a, a census of how many vehicles are coming from Tmokinyata Airport. One day, they counted about 40,000 vehicles in one day. That's why you find jumps on this side, jumps on this side. So they have done their mathematics. The risk, and this is very important, the risk is on the investor. If, say, eventually nobody uses this route, yeah, basically Kenya government has no obligation. And that's why I'm saying we appreciate what the investor has done by having conviction and faith in our economy. They have put this money without no guarantees, without any guarantees about the payment of the toll. If nobody uses the road, it is their risk. But it shows you that indeed they have done their homework and it's actually a viable project. Airport cannot survive uh, for both transit and for domestic uh, visitors. So infrastructure is key. Uh, this investment is key to the people to come in here, spend even 24 hours. So that is the innovation that will come in to give short stay, 24-hour visa. Those are the new things. We at KWS Park, we are working with Kenya with that. Instead of spending eight hours at the airport or six hours, you spend three hours at Nairobi National Park. So we have that partnership with Kenya, which is existing currently. And you can see the infrastructure, the bypass, the connection to the park, the infrastructure that we are developing in Nairobi National Park, that is to get a better experience for the visitor. 
so that they don't waste their time at the airport, but they come into the town. And Mwalimu Nyerere used to tell Tanzanians many years ago that if you want to know how London looks like, just go to Nairobi. Once this project is done, if Mwalimu Nyerere comes back, he'll tell them now, go to Nairobi and not just see London. See Hong Kong, see New York, how it looks like. Mabarabara uh, Zagorofa kama hizi. So Nairobi is going to be the new Singapore. And as Kenyans, we are proud of this development. Let us just manage our politics so that we can stabilize the country, attract more investments into our country. That is all we ask. As a journalist, sometimes I go to these events and I get to capture them. So tell me if these are some of the videos you'd always like to see. We shoot a lot of footage and some of it is just lost, but I can be your plug. You know what to do? Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again the next time I go somewhere and I see something that needs to be captured on camera.